Good evening everybody, this is Simon, Explosive Action, and I am back finally with another uh, DVD, VHS and Blu-ray update. Um, I think I missed the entire uh, September month. It has been uh, very different around here with a um, now two-month-old baby to uh, be taken care of who uh, eats up a lot of my time, as you could imagine. Um, but of course, the collecting bug never goes away. I haven't been able to watch a huge amount of things, of course, um, but I do get some downtime, and I do get to watch some stuff. Um, but uh, I always do manage to find time to scour eBay, do trades, and head to the JB and pick up some bargains. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to go through, have a look at the stuff that I've acquired in the last month and a half. Uh, let's see, we'll start with the VHS. And the first one here is the awesome final score. Indonesian film. Um, I've been after this tape for a long time. Best known release, I think. Um, directed by, uh, i got it right, it's uh, Arizal or something like that, I think is his name. Just a single name. Um, this is a mad, mad action film. It's, I think, 1990, something like that. Maybe uh, a little earlier. 1987, actually. Okay, so it's a proper 80s film. Um, just think Death Wish, but done on the cheap, with some hilarious uh, dubbing and some uh, brilliant uh, action set pieces. Cars getting hit by trains, lots of shit exploding. This is a this is a good film. So do check out Final Score if you can get it somehow. Japanese tape is the way to go. Another one I was after for a long time. Elves. No DVD of this. Um, it's a horror film in the in the vein of something like Critters, I suppose. Um, not quite a horror comedy, but um, it is funny because it's yeah, just so ridiculous. Uh, Dan Haggerty, he's uh, playing Santa Claus with his big grey beard. There's an evil elf. There's Nazis. And it's in a shopping mall. So, uh, yeah, I was really happy to pick this up finally. I never thought I'd be able to get it. But, uh, this is Elves on uh, Palace, one of their latest tapes. And I didn't even pay that much for it. So, awesome. Check out Elves. It was a good, fun movie. Stuff in a Trade. Haven't watched any of these. <sighs> there goes the pile. Stuff in a Trade that I haven't watched any of yet. Uh, a new KTEL release, Red Monarch. Um, now, what I found interesting about this... When I cracked it open, I mean, the cover definitely says uh, KTEL. The tape is a film pack. So I'm not too sure what's going on there. But um, I think this is one of those uh, yeah, black comedy kind of things. So I'll check it out one day. That's a Red Monarch on KTEL. As I reassemble this pile. Right, where were we? Uh, Video Classics release of Firebird 2015 AD. Never heard of this one, but it certainly looked like something I'd want to check out. And never a, a tape that I've ever seen. It's a bit beaten up. Eh. These damn clamshells. There you go. Quite beaten up. Haven't actually checked the playback on this one. It looks to be um, pretty interesting, uh, yeah, car-based film. So, if anyone's actually managed to see Firebird 2015 AD, maybe it's got another name. Let me know if it's any good. And I picked up Space Mutiny. Um, I know there's a, a bodgy DVD of this, but um, I figured if the DVD is that crap, I may as well just get the tape. So uh, here we are with Space Mutiny. It's a bit cropped. Another one on Palace, and that is Red Brown in a sci-fi film. So uh, this is going to be pretty close to top of my list of next things to watch. I expect pain, Space Mutiny. Can't be any worse than Space Chase, which is, yeah, you got to see Space Chase. Okay, so this is a very, very beaten up copy of Silent Night, Bloody Night. It's been chopped to fit a, 
a standard case. They lost the spine, so you know it's in really really shitty condition. But um, the tape's okay, and uh, this was free, so I can't argue with the price. Hot chili, awesome. I don't usually buy these T and A comedies, but um, oh hello, can't show that on uh, YouTube. But um, this is one from my youth. I watched this when I shouldn't have with a mate uh, when we were about ten. And the uh, the scene in involving um, the it's almost like Revenge of the Nerds two or something. The scene in that involving uh, a naked woman playing the cello has just <laughs> been engraved on my mind. And I've got to check it out again. And then I learned that it's a canon film, so that made it even more desirable. Hot chili. I hope it's fun. Raw head Rex. I was really happy to get this for the price of zero dollars as well. Nice freebie. DVD, the US DVD is way out of print. The UK DVD has a shoot cover. Um, nothing is in widescreen yet, so I figured, look, I'll take the tape. Why not? When they do a proper widescreen DVD one day, I'll pick it up. This is a Clive Parker film, one of his first ones. Uh, not fondly thought of, but, you know, I saw it a few years ago and I enjoyed it, so... Uh, Black Roses. Good condition uh, palace, this one. Big fat clamshell. Again, free. Free is the best price. This is on DVD, but um, yeah, look, it was free and the cover is awesome. And I haven't seen the film yet, so I'll um, check it out. And if I do like it, I'll pick up the DVD at some point. Black Roses. I think it's a Synapse DVD, I think. Death Weekend. Very cool, minimal cover on this. Put out through applause. Sub label of Orocho. Applause. Has anyone seen Death Weekend? Well, I will soon, and I won't have paid for it. Another freebie. As was the bikini shop. I had this once before, and I traded it off, and I'm happy to get it back again because uh, I actually quite enjoyed this stupid film. Just another tit and ass one. Mainly tits being bikini. So, yeah. Very 80s. Very stupid. Ah, what was this? Uh, another freebie that I picked up because it sounded cool. That's all. I was just picking them off a list, basically. Um, yeah, modern-ish horror called Ceremony with Demons. Eh, I don't know what to expect. Anyone seen Ceremony? Who knows? Might be great. <laughs> Last tape, Witch Story. There is a DVD of this, I'm sure. But, um, yeah. I'll take a 80s horror on VHS, especially when it's a CBS Fox, so... I'm good with that. Which story? Alright, that's the tapes. One second, I'm going to reassemble the piles. And we're back, and on to the DVDs. Check out them from the top here. New release, this is Dead Shadows. Um, I'm taking a punt on this one, it looks really good, uh, French, yep, French film, quite short, 76 minutes, but, um, this one does look like a lot of fun, um, what was the go, I did read it, uh, yeah, if Attack the Block were a French movie, then Dead Shadows would have to come out, yeah, so that's pretty much it, if you've seen Attack the Block, turn it into a French film and you get Dead Shadows. And it's the uncut edition. I don't know what else there is out there, but high impact science fiction themes, horror violence, and sexual violence. That's always fun. Dead Shadows. Let me know if you've seen it. These three were gifted from a mate of mine. Godzilla Final Wars. Last film they made, I think, where Godzilla fights all his old enemies. You can check them out there. Uh, giant Monsters All Out Attack. Mothra and King Ghidorah. I'd only ever actually seen the first Godzilla, so this is nice to get these. And Godzilla Tokyo SOS. Um, I have it on authority for my mate that these are all fun. He just bought a box set, so I get to get his offshoots. Two new Code Reds. Uh, Curse of the Blue Lights, which so far I've only made it halfway through, as I fell asleep, um, which is never a good sign. The makeup on this guy was just atrocious. And it wasn't moving at a very fast pace, so um, I'll finish it off at some point. 
but I was very happy to get an upgrade of Evil Speak. Um, they struck a new HD master, and um, all the basically the gory footage from the Anchor Bay release, which was sort of roughly inserted from a lower quality master, is all here in pristine quality. So, if you want Evil Speak, the new Code Red release, which you can only buy direct from their blog, is the one to get. It looks fantastic. Great film, as you can see. Big fan with the poster. Next one. Oh dear. Return of the Killer Shrews. Uh, another on the Monster Rama collection, local uh, series being put out here. I think I've got six of them now. Um, yeah, somewhat sequel to uh, Killer Shrews, old 50s, I think, film. And here we are with Return of the Killer Shrews. I'm sure it's going to be craptacular. JB's having a horror sale at the moment. Everything is incredibly cheap, actually, very good prices. And for $6. I picked up the four Prom Night films. Uh, one is in widescreen but a bit soft, two is not widescreen but it's still the best of the series and three and four are just shit films. But um, they're all on separate discs and you get the whole lot for six dollars so good. Um, I don't normally show my Doctor Who pickups but this time I will. Terror of the Zygons, one of my favourites and this marks the final fourth Doctor Tom Baker DVD to come out, that's it, they're all out now. So, um, very happy to get Terror of the Zygons, two disc set from the JB sale, Mutant Girls Squad. I do like these uh, Sushi Typhoon, ridiculous Japanese splatter, well, you can't even call them horror films, but splatter comedy almost. Um, and uh, this one never dropped in price, I mean. Tokyo Gore Police, you can get cheap. Machine Girl, you can get cheap. Mutant Girl Squad sat in JB for $27.98. I'm not paying $30. And now it's uh, $6.95 or whatever in their horror sale. So awesome. Mutant Girl Squad. Got this up at the uh, thrift store. Adrenaline Fear the Rush. Christopher Lambert. Natasha Henstridge. Better known as The Chick from Species. Um, and it... Uh, it looks like it should be a uh, craptacular sci-fi film and I got it because it's directed by Albert Payun so that's awesome I now have another Albert Payun film Adrenaline Feel the Rush next we have another monster armor Axe Giant look at that this how can this be bad? A real fun ride. Well, I haven't watched it yet, but uh, from the director of Boogeyman 3, that isn't something I'd put on the front of a DVD. But anyway, Axe Giant. I'm hoping it's good. Uh, this was $5 or something. The Divide. Um, English film from the uh, French director of Frontiers. I'm not sure if it's his first English film. It may very well be. Uh, Xavier Jens. Uh, Frontiers is a very good one. So uh, I jumped on this for the, the price that I was paying. The Divide. Post Apoc. Always good. Ah, my first um, uh, Vinegar Syndrome DVD. Um, I gotta love the covers they put on these. It looks like serious low rent VHS. Death Force and Vampire Hookers. Why did I get this one? Because they're both Sirio Santiago films. And uh, I'm all about him. And they're two that I haven't seen. And they've of course been uh, struck from nice widescreen masters. Um, one of these companies that does um, use the best qualities they can. And I'm particularly interested in seeing a Death Force. Awesome. The Bay. Now, Andrew um, Ballina picked up this in one of his recent updates, and um, it stuck in my mind because he said it was quite good. And then I saw it for seven dollars, so I thought, well, I'll take a punt on that. Seven dollars new for The Bay. Found footage film, as is Grave Encounters 2. I like the first one. I am a sucker for these paranormal activity films. Haven't seen this one yet. Did like the cover. And it was, I think, also $8. I picked up both of these so far. 
the Movies For You sci-fi classics range. Um, put out by Shout Factory, though they don't actually say it's by them. They're just MGM films. Um, four classics, you get uh, Man From Planet X, Beyond the Time Barrier, The Time Travelers, and The Angry Red Planet. Um, it's good to get them all in one set. Uh, time Travelers is 16.9, which is nice. The problem, which they could have easily avoided, is that they jam four films onto one disc. And they're not long films, but I watched Angry Red Planet and it was a case of spot the DVD artifact. Um, if they made them two films a disc and made them a flipper disc or two discs or something, that problem would have gone away. But as it stands, they're still good prints, just slightly over compressed. But the price is five dollars new. So yeah, for five bucks, if you don't have them, it's still a no-brainer. And uh, here we go again, Amazing Transparent Man, Reptilicus, Neanderthal Man, and The Brain That Wouldn't Die. And that's a nice one in widescreen as well, which um, normally just sits in public domain, 50 packs. So, yep, that's good to have an upgrade on that. Another shout, The Barbarians and The Norsemen. Barbarians is a canon film, of course, so I'm picking it up. Norseman uh, is an Orion film, both uh, MGMs. And, uh, yeah, The Barbarians is a Ruggiero Diodato film, so that's another good reason to pick it up. Oh, I didn't realise that Norseman is an AIP. Win-win. They look, look at that. They look amazing. Uh, so that's two films on one disc, I think. Ah oh dear. Look, I like Schwarzenegger and I'll watch anything he's in. And I didn't have uh, his three first comedies, so... Oh, there's a fly on my leg. Uh, Kindergarten Cop, Twins and Junior. Um, Kindergarten Cop, I've seen a billion times that I have twins. They're still rubbish transfers. Um, but, you know, this set was $3. Junior, I've still never seen. Um, oh, there goes the pile. I don't know, I just... Uh, didn't look that fun. But I'll get there one day. Gangster Squad. Look, there's that bloody fly. Fucking hell. You know it's summer. Um, yeah, Gangster Squad, new film. Rel relatively new film. Good cast. Ryan, bloody girls drool over me gosling. Uh, Nick Nolte, Sean Penn. Nice big uh, crime film. Why did I pick it up? Two bucks. I'll take anything for two bucks. Can't argue with that. Uh, quite an early release here of The Cat's Eye. Stephen King film, Drew Barrymore. Around about the time she did um, Firestarter. Uh, so this is the old Studio Canal release through Universal. Never seen the film, but uh, the Studio Canal prints are always good. Picked it up for two bucks as I did. John Cena's 12 Rounds, apparently extreme cut, still rated them. meh. Um, you see this in every shop, it's always on the sale racks. Never cheap enough for me to bother with. Two bucks is cheap enough. The same for Shooter, Mark Wahlberg, Marky Mark. Eh, two bucks. Grand Theft Auto, this is uh, obviously nothing to do with the game. Predates it by many years. Roger Corman, uh, car crash comedy, uh, rejected, uh, directed, not rejected, by Ron Howard. Bit of fun. And the last DVD, Silent Hill. I was never going to get this because the Australian releases the wrong aspect ratio, but da da, two bucks. I'll check it out if I like it. I'll get the uh, I think it's a French Blu-ray. Is the correct aspect ratio. So that's the DVDs. Onto the Blu-rays now. Small pile, hopefully I won't tip this one over. I don't think I've shown this, but it's been some time, so I can't remember. <coughs> uh, House of Seven Corpses. New Blu-ray by Severin. Uh, this has been one I had wanted to check out for a long time. Do enjoy the 70s gothic horrors, so... Very much looking forward to checking out the House of Seven Corpses. I had a tape at one point. But I never got to watch it before I traded it on. 
uh, Wesley Snipes' Gallow Walkers. This is um, almost a lost Snipes film. He uh, filmed it before they threw him in jail for his tax avoision a few years ago. Um, and it's only just coming out now that he is a free man and going to be in Expendables 3, which is good news. Looking forward to that. This is the German release. I think it's the only one so far. Uh, all the reviews panned it. I can see why. I did watch it. Um, it was better than the reviews said. Uh, Blade is back. You could almost call this Blade 4. Blade goes western. Very similar thing. Not quite vampires he's fighting, but they're undead. Um, there are things apparently called gallow walkers for some reason. Who can... Uh, prolong their life by replacing the skin on their face and um, yeah look it was actually pretty enjoyable it was quite slow like some westerns are because it is basically a western but it has some pretty good gory moments and um, I still think it's worth checking out particularly for snipes completists so um, yep that's Gallo Walkers uh, The Black Waters of Echo's Pond Picked up entirely because Fulgento Barber, or uh, what's he remembered on uh, YouTube, um, Extra the Mutilator, who hasn't done a video in a long time, but I know him on Facebook these days. He recommended this one highly as a modern um, supernatural slasher thing. So um, yeah, it was pretty cheap, like twelve dollars or something on Amazon. So I thought, why not? I tagged it onto my next order, and it's got Robert Patrick. We'll see if it's any good. Monsters, Inc. Not particularly interested in myself, but the wife was. I got this for her for her birthday. She wants all these things so she can watch with our little one. Isn't that nice? Castle Freak. The new 88 films release from the UK. Um, very, very, very good print on this one. Uh, Stuart Gordon film, again, with the awesome Jeffrey Coombs. And... Um, it's got uh, a short film on it called The Evil Clergyman, which is a fairly recent find, I think. I, I think it was a film that was um, forgotten or lost. Uh, I'm not entirely sure about it. I will s check that out at some point, but I've only seen Castle Free so far, and the footage was great. Very good print. So happy to get it on Blu-ray. I Come in Peace. Um, it's released as Dark Angel, but its real name is I Come in Peace. I don't care what it they try and mask it as. Um, and the cover is just amazing. Dolph Lundgren. Fantastic, fantastic film. Um, probably my second favourite Dolph, I think. Yep, I would, I would think that would be the case. I come in peace. Great stuff. Uh, the new Shout Factory Scanners 2, Scanners 3 Double. Um, I have to check this out soon to find out if it is the unrated cuts um, compared to the R-rated cuts which have less gore. Um, I can check them against my DVDs. Um, this was really cheap. Um, this is Star Trek Next Gen, best of both worlds. Um, I like the Star Trek films, I could never be bothered with the series. And they got the um, two, I think. Borg episodes from Next Gen involving Picard cleaned them up, restored them, joined them together and called it a movie. That's good enough for me. So as far as I'm concerned, hey, it's another Star Trek film. Good for me. Oh. Battle of the Damned. Another Dolph film. Not many people know of this one yet. It's only been released in Germany. Um, it is Dolph versus the Undead and Robots. I mean, how cool is that? It's actually quite fun. There's some slow moments. It is cheap. It's quite a cheap film. But yeah, I had a lot of fun with it. Some stupid lines, some ridiculous effects. Um, Dolph vs. Zombies and Robots. Go see it. Enter the Dragon, 40th Anniversary. Australian edition, you get a nice um, booklet, which is rather cool. There you go. Never, bore, never before released production art. You get a um, bunch of postcard type things. But otherwise I'm assuming it's the same edition as the US. Much better transfer than the old one. Definitely upgrade. New Arrow release of Spider Baby. Can you believe I've never seen it? Um, I know it's a lot of people's almost their favourite film. And I've never managed to see Spider Baby. 
so um, yeah, Jack Hill uh, exploitation a classic from the 70s, yes, 70s, 60s. Hmm, not written there that I can see, and I should know, but anyway, Spider Baby, I will watch soon. It's um, quite packed with booklets and double disc, usual arrow affair. This is the reverse art. I didn't like their, their design this time. But I like the original posters there. Ah, the new Star Trek Into Darkness. I do like these new ones. They're good fun. And the last one. Pit and the Pendulum with Lance Henriksen. Hello. So this is the um, uh, Roger Corman, is it? No, this isn't the Roger Corman one. What am I talking about? This is the Stuart Gordon one. They're both Stuart Gordon films. This and um, and uh, the other 88 films releases. This is uh, The Pit and the Pendulum with uh, Jeffrey Coombs again, of course. Um, Lance Henriksen, Oliver Reed. I haven't seen this one yet. I do like the cover. Next up, box sets. Three box sets to show. Picked up very cheap. The Halloween 1 to 5 Australian box set, which is um, just a nice curiosity. It's out of print, hard to find. I got it from cash converters for next to nothing. Um, the prints uh, are no longer that good, especially in part 2. It's not even anamorphic, but it's a nice set. It folds out like so. One of the discs is a little loose. Whee! Probably why I got it so cheap. There you go. And another disc is loose. I think they've lost their clips, but there you go. One, two, three, four, five. A nice fold out set. Let's see if I can close it without them falling out. So, yeah. I hadn't got. I didn't actually have any other editions of uh, 2 to 5, would you believe? I only ever have part one on Blu-ray, so it was a good way to get the set. And um, I really wanted to see part two again. I hadn't seen it for oh, over a decade. Um, and I was a little annoyed that it wasn't anamorphic, but you know, that's that's what you get. I may pick up the Blu-ray at some point. Received today from my mum. Of course, tomorrow is my birthday. This is the Friday the 13th new... Blu-ray tin. Every film in the set, um, including whoop, losing my grip, including uh, is it written there? What's written on the back? Part nine, which is never in any of the box sets, probably for good reason. It's not very good. But you get um, Crystal Memories, uh, Crystal Lake Memories book. I think it's a cut down version of the actual book you can buy, and. Um, you get the remake, you get Freddy vs. Jason, and a bonus features DVD. And that's a nice little neat set to get. I haven't opened the shrink wrap, as you can see. But um, I was pretty stoked to get uh, to get that one. Upgrade my DVDs. And lastly, this turned out to be um, not only a present, but free. Um, this is the early release of Bruce Lee, The Legacy Collection. And um, as some of you may know, the... Uh, Shout Factory, when they released it, um, there were some problems. Uh, two of the disc labels are reversed, which isn't a big deal, but the main problem is on a couple of the films they didn't use very good Blu-ray masters. So they withdrew the whole lot from sale, and um, yeah, it doesn't come out again for another month or so, where they've gone back and remastered some of the films. Um, I had I told my mum this and she was going to send it back to Amazon. They said, don't worry, the postage return is too much. We'll just refund you. So I have the out of print and yeah, slightly inferior, but still rather cool set of Bruce Lee the Legacy. Still shrink wrapped. I'll crack it open and I'll see. You know, I'm not that fussed sometimes about transfers, so we'll see if um, they're that bad. As it stands, I don't have um, uh, Big Boss, I don't think, on 
any format. And the way of the dragon, I don't have on any format. So that's uh, you know, it's at least films I don't have, and it's a nice book set. So hey, there you go. Right, lost my breath. It's been a big day, and yeah, that's a lot of stuff. So um, I'm going to leave it here. Hopefully, I'll be able to start churning through a few more of these things and uh, get some time to watch some films. Um, hope you've all had a good September and October is uh, kicking along nicely for you. See you next time.